Hey guys, this is Lonely Paul here at Unique Square to talk to you about Isotope's Stutter Edit Effect Plugin. Stutter Edit is a gesture-based effects plugin that allows you to process loops and delays and filters and all kinds of stuff, so let's take a look at it. Okay, so let's have a look under the hood and I'll show you guys how Stutter Edit works. Uh, what Stutter Edit is, is it is, it, it, it's a looping and delay kind of processor. It comes with a lot of other bells and whistles, like uh, bit reduction, and it's got you know high pass filter, low pass filter, this sort of lo-fi effect. You've got options to bring your wet and dry levels in and out. Uh, but then you've got your delays and your looping and your buffering effects. And what it does in the background that makes all of these effects work is it's constantly sampling the sound. So if you've got a sound running behind stutter edit, it hears what you're doing and it's constantly listening and collecting that in a set increment that shows what it's, that lets Stutter Edit have that data stored so that you can trigger a loop. So that when you automatically just jump in wherever you like, it's automatically going to be ready and waiting and have the audio ready with no latency. So that's a pretty cool thing. And each effect within Stutter Edit actually has a lot of controls that allow you to adjust the time or change the flow of how it works so that if you were using Stutter Edit for a crazy, crazy glitched out effect, you could actually make it go from one time to another time and sort of explode like that. Uh, and then you've got these other effects like the bit reduction that can activate, and they're activating on their own cycle, which gives you a lot of cool layered timing effects. And it saves a lot of time because if you think about how you would design this in Ableton using the beat repeat or your own delay effects, you would be writing automation curves and having to check those. Whereas with Stutter Edit, you set the timing on at one time, then you're able to just pull it up for infinite instant recall. So the buffer shuffling is a pretty cool RAM reliant effect. It's not easier on your processor, but that's the basics of how Stutter Edit works. So uh, there's so many effects in Stutter Edit, and to really kind of talk through all of them would take too long. So I'm just going to take you through a couple of my favorites. Uh, obviously, you've got the stutter effect, which is going to basically replace your common stutter edit. And as you can see, it sort of cycles through your quarters and your sixteenths and your thirty seconds and whatever it is that you choose. Or if you drag out the handle, you can make it go from one time to the other. But that's pretty much a stutter edit, about business as usual. And uh, then you've got the uh, stereo delay effect which makes, makes beautiful musical love with the stutter edit so that you end up with a cool kind of dubby effect that you can make cycle over longer times or shorter times depending on what you favor. You can also have different times for the left and right. You can have a cycle so they do crazy feedback. And then you've also got your uh, low pass filter, which in addition to the master filter that you've got attached to the pitch wheel, you can have this guy moving through different cycles. So, I know you've heard that effect before. I'm pretty sure you can figure out what to do with it. Then you've got your bit reduction filter, which, again, kind of an obvious thing, but very cool the way Stutter Edit does it, as it starts at one bit rate. Right now we've got it set from 16, so it's dropping from 16 to two gets pretty nasty. If you wanted it to just run between 12 and 8, you could do that. So there you go with that. And then kind of the last one that I really have been enjoying is the, uh, the lo-fi effect, which is just sort of give or take away some of what Fit, Fit Crusher's doing and do more of a down sampling. So those are all pretty cool. I guess the thing to do now is to kind of show them deployed in an actual song, doing some breaks and doing some stutters. Okay guys, so that was Stutter Edit from Isotope. It's 
pretty neat plug-in. It's got a lot of great features and it's really flexible. We like the fact that it can save you a lot of time and I think it's got a lot of future in my own productions. Hope it has some in yours. Uh, Till next time, follow us on our Twitter page, check us out on our Facebook page, have a look at our YouTube page, and be you, be unique at uniquesquared.com.